the file block allows you to put a downloadable file on your in your WordPress pages or post easily like this so when a user clicks on the download button it will get downloaded simply like this and let's see how to add a file block and how to use it to add a file block there are few different ways like any other block you can either click on this add block icon and search for file and then click on it and it gives you this option where you can upload the file from your local folder or from the media library like like this and it and it works like this you can change this uh, label or text here to uh, anything you like and and it, there are different options I'll cover in a while so let's see another way to add the file another way is by simply typing the forward slash and type file and clicking on this it adds the same file block and works the same way but if you want to upload a file from your local folder the easiest or the fastest way is to open the folder and drag that file to your Gutenberg and it will upload it to your media library and at the same time add it as a file block as well and works the same way so these are the few ways you can add, drop a downloadable file and the Gutenberg editor or in your any page or post now let's explore what options we have in the block toolbar and the sidebar so first the toolbar in the toolbar the first two options are standard and all the Gutenberg blocks the first one shows you the options uh, available that this block can be transformed to so there is not much options available uh, by the way this uh, transform to for the file block options depends on the file type for example this one is the pdf file and thus the transform options is only group but let's create another file block and this time i will select our an mp3 file here so just to show you some difference so now if i go to the transform options i have another option which is the audio blocks because this is an mp3 file which is an audio file I can transform it to a player as well like this uh, unlike the above file block which has a PDF file type attached to it so the transform options for the file blocks differ depending on the file type you are using you can have different options here the next option or control is the mover control which lets you move the block up and down by clicking on these arrows or simply drag and drop it to the position where you need it like this next we have the alignment options uh, similar to many other blocks uh, you can align it to left right center and depending on the theme you are using you get these two options to wide align and full width align then we have the replace option the replace option simply allows you to replace the file to another one from your either your local folder by uploading it and by or by uh, supporting uh, changing the file or uh, replacing the file from your media library like this that's simple next we have some formatting option text formatting option basically which works uh, about the about changing uh, the typography or formatting the text we have here uh, suppose I highlight this text and I can make it bold italic like this simply and then we have some options here uh, similar to the paragraph log you can uh, put some inline code inline image and make the text strike through uh, which gives a line or even change the color of the text to something different like this so these options are quite similar to the paragraph block or in the headline block as well or in the list block different text blocks you have these options available by the way you can also change the download button text uh, by to anything you want like this just simply change click on this and change the text and uh, you can 
work with this typography formatting option text formatting options on in the download text as button text as well similar to the text here that's it for the toolbar uh, top toolbar let's see what we have in the sidebar so in the sidebar we have three panels here text link settings panel download button settings panel and the advanced panel the advanced panel is standard in all the blocks mostly these two options are available where you can assign a custom CSS class or make it a anchor link in the text link settings panel basically it lets you link uh, the file to the media file which is by default and by the way this is for this text here not for the button so you can change it to media file uh, or the attachment page so uh, this is not uh, about the download button download button is uh, will be linked to the file and lets the user download the file by default so and you can make it this link to open in a new tab as well so these are two options are for this text which you type for this particular file block next we have the download button settings the download button settings uh, there is only one option you can either uh, show the download button or hide it by default it's uh, it, it shows the uh, button obviously but you can hide it if you are making this uh, text only file downloadable file so either in, in most cases you you would need to display the download button anyway so these are the options we have in the sidebar and there's nothing more to cover about the file block uh, i guess if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments thank you